Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna show you how you can install the Schematica mod for the 1.16.5. In this version it's called Light Medica. If you wanna see it for the 1.8 to 1.12, check out this video in the top right. Let's get started. So all the links are in the description. Just go to the first one, which is this one, and choose the version that you wanna have. For me it's 1.16.5. It could also be 1.16 or 1.15.2. So I'm just gonna click on download here and it downloads in 5 seconds. I'm just gonna go on to the next one, which is Melee Lib. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but just download it for the same version, which is 1.16.5. Click on download and it's downloading. Then you need Fabric, because this is not a Forge mod, it's a Fabric mod. Um, there's a bit of a difference, doesn't really matter. But basically Fabric is for 1.15 and higher, and Forge is like for 1.7 till 1.12 I think. So just download the Universal Installer or the Windows Installer, just gonna choose the uh, Universal one and you can run it already. A window like this will pop up, it will ask you which version you want to install and which loader version, just take the newest one and uh, the version that you want, create profile and just click on install. There you go, it's already done, you can close it down again and then go to Fab Fabric API. This is kind of like another mod that you need to run fabric mods. Just click on download. Um, also 1.16.5, the same version. All right, click on keep for those files. Then press Windows and R at the same time. This window will open up. P type in percentage app data percentage. Then go to your .micro folder. Search if you have a mods folder. Um, if you don't, just right click somewhere and create a new folder called mods without without a capital M and I already have one just gonna delete the two mods in there uh, you won't have these folders but yeah doesn't doesn't matter so I just put in the lightmatica file and the melee lib file and the fabric API don't put in the fabric installer don't do that mit mistakes I did that once put in the API lightmatica and melee lib Alright, then you can close all that down. Um, the version should be already selected. If it's not, go to Installations, New Profile, and then search for it. It's, it should say Fabric Loader, and then the version. Just create a new profile and select it. But it should be selected. So I'm now in a new world, and I'm gonna show you how the mod works in-game. I just noticed that a lot changed, and um, so the, the basic thing that you need to know is that you can open up the menu with pressing M, then it shows this thing. If you go to the tool mode area selection, you can then select stuff. Um, the tool for that is this stick. So for, let's just say I wanted to copy this tree. Let me just break this around here. All right, so you have to go to one corner, which would be this one. Click it with the stick. Then go to the other corner, which would be around here. Also click it with the stick, and then this part is selected. Now that you have that area selected, go back to M, then go to the area editor, then give it a name, uh, a selection name, for example, just tree, and then go on save version. Just click on OK, and now it was saved. Now if you go to the tool mode, um, I think you have to go to page schematic in world. Yeah, there we go. And then, wait a second. You have to just go over somewhere else, press M again, then uh, load schematics, select the test one that you loaded, and click on load, and there you go, there it is. If you set the tool mode to rebuild schematic, you can now also change the blocks, so you can just put away some grass blocks if you don't want to rebuild them. And if you press M and C at the same time, you can then go to the hotkey, and then Search easy place toggle and set a hotkey for it. I now set it to O and when I press O it says toggle easy place mode off. I'm just gonna press it again and it says on. So then you can now just right click on any block and it'll automatically build it. It'll always say action prevented by the easy place mode but don't don't mind that it's just it's working just fine. So just click on every block it'll automatically place it and this is kind of like the printer mode of this mod. Um, 
It sadly doesn't work as well as the one with 8bot, but I guess that's just sadly how it is. If you liked the video, please subscribe and leave a like. I don't only do tutorials, I also did like battles and challenges and stuff. So yeah, it would be really cool if you could sub, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.